Hello beer troopers, welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today looking at yet another beer by Stronzo Brewing Company. Uh, this is kind of an interesting beer from them. This is their Swagger Juice. <laughs> and it's uh, a, a espresso rye stout. So yeah, a rye stout made with coffee on 8%. The um, thing about this one, uh, that this was actually made because of a little, uh, or user, user kind of created, because I think it was last Christmas. Uh, Christian Stronge or Stronzo did this thing on Facebook that you could vote for what color you wanted a beer to be, some of the ingredients and stuff, and even the name, which ended up being Swagger Juice, <laughs> and uh, some of the description on here, which is this writing you see on here. I'm not going to read that at all because it's going to take forever because I have to like spin the bottle. But some of the words are like um, he had to use was like Grandpa Delirious Name Dropping Britney Spears Precious and bare ass and Motown and all kinds of weird stuff. Um, but it should be interesting. A, a stout made with rye and coffee. And thanks to Christian Thorman from Stronzo for sending this one out. Uh, so yeah, let's get it cracked open and see how it is. Whoa! I did not expect that. That was sounded very well carbonated. Wow. So I've had the head settle a little. I mean, that was crazy. That was really intense carbonation for for stout, it's pretty dark. Uh, it's like a pitch black kind of color. Um, I don't see any light coming through this at all. Nice two finger, which was huge, this head, until it settled. Of a nice kind of uh, bubbly mocha colored head. Let's take out the swagger juice aroma. Yeah, definitely smell the coffee right up front. Nice coffee aroma. Um, Definitely also the spicy kind of rye component. Other than that, some roasted malt, some chocolatey notes. Yeah, it's got that kind of darker fruit aroma in there too. It's got an almost soy sauce aroma to it as well. Because it's like, you can get that sometimes when you, you use a lot of coffee and dark roasted malt and stuff. Um, it's made, other than that, it's also made with wheat, I can see here. Uh, which is kind of interesting. You don't really smell any wheaty aromas at all, but definitely a decent amount of like spicy rye, and that coffee is very dominant in there as well. A mm. little bit of a burnt coffee bean kind of aroma, or like a burnt office coffee almost. Coffee aroma in there is really nice, even though it's like burnt office coffee, but still it smells pretty nice. So yeah, let's give the swagger juice a taste. Cheers. That's way too over carbonated though. But the flavor is pretty nice, actually. The flavor is actually really nice. Um, carbonation makes it super fizzy. It makes it gassy and all. It's almost like Belgian type of carbonation on here. Um, and really like aggressive carbonation. Don't pick up on the 8% at all. Uh, fairly bitter, really nice coffee flavor lingering for a while. I still get that coffee flavor on the back end. But the mouthfeel is like medium. Feels very fizzy, but also still kind of silky. Uh, like a silky smooth body. I, certainly it's better than the other two he sent. I think uh, it's actually a pretty nice and tasty coffee stout. Uh, it's got that dark roast. Again, that kind of burnt off. It's, it's almost got like a burnt popcorn too. Kind of weird thing going on there. But some of that kind of dark fruity light sweetness in there too but mostly it's like a real roasty and burnt flavor with a lot of coffee some dark chocolate chocolate on the back end as well the coffee kind of hides the rye there's still some spicy rye component in there too but the coffee kind of really it's i mean it's a really coffee dominated beer which is nice almost like a touch of like a sugary almost vanilla like sweetness in there um only like real big thing I'm not keen on about this is that it's so over carbonated. I think that might be just because I got an unlucky bottle here that's got a little too much carbonation because it's got way too much carbonation for a stout this here. Uh, I'm gonna give this one an 80. It's a really good coffee stout. I just would have wanted much less carbonation in it but now oh well. Definitely so far probably the best beer I've had from Stronzo. The only thing being the, the carbonation issue. So uh, yeah, that does it for the beer review of the Stronzo Brewing Company's Swagger Juice. Uh, definitely let me know what you think of this brew if you've had it. 
especially if you've had a bottle that's not been like super carbonated, would be nice to hear what you think of it. And so yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another video.